guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Anzarama Burana and I am welcoming each and every one of you to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe, hit that like button if you like this video and do check out more of my recipes and my other type of content. Today we are making pilchard lasagna and I will be using this kind of canned pilchards today and I hope that you enjoy this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. We are almost at 10k subscribers. I just need a little over a thousand of you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get right into the video. So I am going to start by preparing the pilchards into a tomato sauce. So I switched to the uh, pilchards that are already in tomato sauce instead of the ones that are in a chili tomato sauce because I have younger nephews that don't like chili. So if you like chili, use the one that is in chili sauce or add your own chili. And then here I just have some diced onion one diced white onion yellow onion whatever it is <laughs> and then i have a mixture of red green and yellow peppers so you can cut half half of each lemon of each pepper and then dice it into a nice uh, combination or you can just use green pepper if you don't have the robot peppers and then of course we're going to need some spices i'm going to use some turmeric some ginger, some black pepper, some paprika, and then uh, some garlic. And then we are also going to use some grated tomatoes. In here, I grated six small tomatoes. I think they were about this size. So that will be it with the pilchards. And then, of course, some seasoning of choice, which for me, in this case, will be some salt. So let's get started with the tomato sauce and then we'll do the cheese sauce and then we'll assemble everything into one nice gooey lasagna. So I am starting by just adding a little bit of oil. I am using canola oil today. You can use any type of oil that you like. And then I am going to add my peppers, right? No. And then I'm going to add my onion. And then we are going to fry this onion until it becomes a little bit translucent before adding your peppers and the rest of the spices. At this point, I'm going to put a teaspoon of crushed garlic. Not too heaped because we don't want it to overpower everything. Just fry it a little bit. Make sure that it doesn't burn because garlic does add a bit of taste if it burns and sticks to the pot. And then I'm also going to add my diced peppers. Oh, look at that vibrant, beautiful color. At this point, you want to add your spices, which is a teaspoon of black pepper. Followed by a teaspoon of ginger. And then some turmeric powder as well. And then you're going to add lots of uh, paprika. I added two teaspoons. I love paprika. <laughs> and 
and then you're going to stir it up add some salt and then give everything a good mix and then we are going to add our grated tomatoes into this mixture in goes the tomatoes so to cook your tomatoes very well it's gonna take a little bit of time and it is advisable to reduce the heat a little bit so that you can cook out the water from the tomatoes without burning anything So guys i am going to show you how i clean and prep my fish i know some people don't prep it they just use it straight from the can i don't do that i prefer removing the bones and whatever was growing inside the fish so i just divide it and just divide it nicely with the spoon like that there's a lot of gunk that's inside there and then you're gonna scrape it off with a spoon onto a fork or another spoon and then throw out that part especially for people who are cooking for kids you might want to remove to open and see what bones are inside of your fish so that's my fish prepped I'm going to continue and prep the others then we'll be ready to incorporate this into our sauce. Once you are done cleaning your fish, you just want to put it into that mixture of your tomato sauce and then cook it for a very short while because the fish is really like cooked already. You just want to break it apart and then set it aside until we make the white so the cheese sauce and we'll be ready to assemble our lasagna now that we've prepped our fish uh, i've set it aside now it's time for me to make my white sauce and start preparing my lasagna sheets so the type that i'm using is this type and they are instant lasagna sheets in the sense that you just need to soak them in a bit of hot water for a very short while while you then you layer them and then i'm gonna make a cheese sauce so for that you are going to need some corn flour three tablespoons of that corn flour some fresh milk which i am using one cup and then two cups of grated cheese i am also going to grate some extra cheese on the side so that we have like nice things to decorate with while we are assembling our cheese so let's go to the stove and prepare our cheese sauce and then i am going to soak this in a bit of warm water and then i'm gonna soak my sheets in a bit of warm water then we'll be ready to assemble our beautiful and nice lasagna now for your cheese sauce you want to first add the cold milk into the saucepan and then add the three tablespoons of corn flour into that pan and then you will need to work with a whisk from here so that you can make sure that you don't form lumps and clumps in your sauce so while i was making this sauce i realized that it was becoming too thick of the consistency that i wanted so i ended up at some point adding a little bit of more milk i added about a cup more milk so you can adjust depending on how thick your sauce is becoming and then just leave the milk to heat up and then add your cups of cheese while stirring so that it mix in properly
don't worry if the cheese is not melting as fast sometimes some cheeses will actually melt better in the oven than on the stove but this one uh, it melted quite fine but you could still see some of the cheese beads in there whisk 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 you really have to be patient with this step of all steps and then once you feel satisfied by the consistency of your sauce you'll set it aside then we'll start assembling so i have those instant sheets of um pasta these sheets you don't have to soak them for too long they will cook while everything is cooking in the oven unlike uh, the ones that you have to cook so first you layer your fish nice into a nice thin layer well i wish i had cooked a lot of fish but i didn't <laughs> and then you're going to lay your cheese sauce on top of that layer look at that cheese look at that cheese cheese is beautiful guys cheese is really beautiful cheese 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 then once you are done layering the cheese you're going to continue creating the same layers for the second layer and then we'll be ready to finish everything off on top for the top layer you just want to layer your sheets of lasagna then cover it with sauce and cheese lots and lots of cheese and then we are going to bake these at 180 to 200 degrees celsius for about 30 minutes or until the top starts uh, becoming nice and golden and then it will be ready to serve this is yummy, nice and gooey on the inside because of all that sauce that we added and it will be ready to serve directly when piping hot or you can serve it later when it's cool. Look at that nice cheese crust that is formed on top. That is so, so beautiful and yummy. And in the center, we have this cheesy gooeyness happening. and that is it for me thank you very much for watching please remember to subscribe like and comment and please also follow my instagram page at cooking with anza i love and appreciate each and every one of you i hope to see you in my next video bye